Hi, and welcome to EFIT Adventures. My name's Darren, and this channel is about backpacking, cure reviews, and finding your next adventure. If those things interest you, please consider subscribing and hit that like button and notification button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my latest piece of gear for the backcountry. So stay tuned. My latest piece of gear for the backcountry I just purchased and it came in the mail this week. REI just had their membership sale in the middle of a March, which gives you a 20% discount off of one full price item or 20% off one of their outlet items. Later this summer, I have a trip planned in Yosemite and one of the pieces of gear that is required in the national parks is a bear canister. Now I've been putting this off for quite a while because normally I like to carry a bear bag and hang it from a tree. Plus I don't like to carry the extra weight of the bear canister. As I was doing research as to what, which bear canister I would purchase and which size, I found that, found that the BV450, the bear vault is the most common an acceptable bear canister within the national and state parks. Now I needed to know which size and which capacity to purchase that would also fit in my pack. So I have two packs right now. I have a 30 liter and a 50 liter. And um, I wanted it something that wasn't too bulky or tall or big that I couldn't fit it inside my pack if I wanted the option to. Um, the Bear Vault canister comes in a variety of sizes ranging from uh, the BV425 all the way up to a 500, uh, BV500. And the one I chose was the BV450. Um, it holds 7.2 liters or 440 cubic inches. It weighs 2 pounds 1 ounce or 940 grams. And it's made up a, of a hard polycarbonate plastic. It features a screw top, access lid, and uh, let's see, on this side, as you can see, these two notches, you have to screw on right here. This is where it catches. And you gotta push these two tabs in to screw it off. I'll show you that later in a little bit. Um, and then it also has these little raised pieces um, all along here. Those are for uh, if you have a strap or you want to strap it to the top of your pack. They're called strap guides along the outside. Uh, this is approved by both the Sierra Interagency Black Bear group as well as the Interagency Grizzly Bear Committee. And normally you want to stash it about 100 feet downwind and anchor it maybe with a rock on top. So along with the bear canister, it also comes with these stickers that you can uh, apply to these six sections uh, on, under the lid. And it gives you just kind of some easy tips uh, as to uh, what to do with it. Um, it says seven big steps or 100 feet from your camp. Um, put anything that smells, um, could be toothpaste, you know, your toiletries in your bear canister. Uh, just uh, plan ahead and prepare. Um, this is also to protect the bears. Not only your food is protected, but um, it protects the bears. So this is just a great little reminder and an easy access um, thing if you needed to see some tips on how to use your bear canister. I'm going to show you how uh, a trick to opening your bear canister. Um, now I've heard that in, when you're out in the backcountry and it gets cold, your fingers are a little numb and it's really hard to press these tabs in to actually rotate the lid. Um, a trick they 
that I found out was if you have like a plastic card or you could use a thin stick or a pocket knife, multi-tool. This is one of the tricks they said to try was that you just stick that card in there. Stick it in there, rotate it. And there, there we go. Now, take the lid off. There you go. So I found that was the easiest trick. I mean, if you're carrying a pocket knife or something else, maybe you don't have to carry a card with you. But um, I found the card was a little bit easier than most to uh, unscrew the lid. Let's lock it back up here. And then this uh, Bear BB450 capacity can hold about two to three days for two people or four days uh, worth of food for a solo single trip for, um, yeah, four days. And that is my BV450. I wanna thank you for watching. Um, if you like this kind of content, backpacking, gear reviews, um, testing out gear, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. What, what do you use to store your food, uh, protect the animals, and uh, leave no trace. Thanks for watching eFit Adventures. I'm excited to try out this new Bearbolt BV450 bear canister, but not too excited about carrying the extra two pounds of weight. I'm glad I'm protecting my food, the environment, and the bears in our public lands. So till next time, take care, and let's find your next adventure.